All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, how to expand decimal fractions. The first way we're going to do that is just looking at uh, expanded notation in a regular whole number that we're used to. So here's the problem for the number 458. So if I'm going to break that down into three different place values, I'm going to look at the value and the number in that place value. So I see this is a 4 in the hundreds, so it's worth 400. This is a 5 in the tens, so it's worth 50. And an 8 in the ones is worth 8. So 458 expands into 400 plus 50 plus 8. Now, if we're looking at how to expand a decimal fraction, we need to think about what's the value of the digit in that place value. This 0 has no value, so that's not going to be part of our expanded notation sentence. Now, this is an 8, and it's in the tenths place. So what we're going to turn it into is just 8 tenths. Here is a 6 in the hundreds place, so it's just going to be 6 hundredths. Now, uh, a common misconception or something you might want to do is to think, this, here's an 8, and that, if I'm doing expanded notation, might be 80 hundredths plus 6 hundredths. And that would mean that both of these were represented as hundredths. And whenever we do expanded notation, we want to have different values for each place value. So we want different place values. So instead of hundredths plus hundredths, we're going to do tenths plus hundredths. We'll do the same thing looking at this problem. I see it's 0 and 39 hundredths. This is going to have no value. Here we have a 3 in the tenths place, so I know that's just going to be 3 tenths plus 9 hundredths. Uh, we'll do a couple of problems just for extra practice. Taking a look here, I'm going to worry about this one first. That is 6 tenths, and then this digit is 7 hundredths. Same thing here, first place value. 5 tenths plus 0 0.04 or 4 hundredths. One more. 2 tenths plus 9 hundredths. Again, the main idea being that uh, we're breaking up these numbers into their separate place values, tenths and hundredths, tenths and hundredths. Here we're going to take a look at how to do that with a fraction. So I have the fraction 24 Hundreds. I want to break that down into expanded form or expanded notation. So I'm going to take a look at a picture here. I can see that this is 24 hundredths and that's what this match is, but I want to break that down into uh, two separate parts. So I'm just going to slide this over and think about, well, this looks like 20 hundredths and that's 4 hundredths, but since I want expanded notation, I don't want to do hundredths plus hundredths. So instead, I'll turn these hundredths, well actually I'll write it down first. I could think that's 20 hundredths here, and here that's 4 hundredths, but I want to turn it into expanded notation, so instead of doing 20 hundredths plus 4 hundredths, I can do 2 tenths plus 4 hundredths, because 2 tenths and 20 hundredths are equivalent fractions. So again, I'm just going to refer to this in tenths. This is 2 tenths here, and this is 4 hundredths here. And I know that that's the answer, so I'm really just worried about what are the two values of the place value. So it's 24 hundredths equals 2 tenths plus 4 hundredths. I'll do the same thing here. And I'll just think about this section here. My larger place value is 5, or excuse me, 50 hundredths. But I can think about that as an equivalent fraction of 5 tenths. And here I'll have 5 hundredths. Let's double check that with our picture, meaning that I need 5 tenths or 5 full columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 full columns, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hundredths for individual squares. 5 tenths plus 5 hundredths. Again, paying attention to that, the fact that my place values are going to be different, or my denominators are going to be different. I'm not going to do hundredths plus hundredths. I'll separate them into tenths plus hundredths. We'll look at one more. 78 hundredths. I'm going to think about before I see the picture, I have a 7 uh, and what's going to be the tenths. 70 hundredths, 7 tenths are equal. So I'm going to write 7 tenths. Here I have 8 hundredths, and that's my expanded notation. What I'm looking for is 7 full columns and 8 individual squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 full columns. 
and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight individual squares. <clears throat> seven tenths plus eight hundredths, seven tenths plus eight hundredths. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of these without a picture. So let's look at 32 hundredths. I'm thinking of tenths first. Instead of 30 hundredths, I'm gonna say that's three tenths. And the two hundredths will remain the same. 16 hundredths, instead of saying it's 10 hundredths, I'll say it's 1 tenth plus 6 hundredths. And I'm not worried about this because this is that what it would equal anyway. One more, instead of 80 hundredths, I'll say it's 8 tenths, because those are equivalent fractions, plus 4 hundredths. Again, every time, different denominators representing different place values of the fraction. Now here we have a problem where they gave us a model, a fraction model, but they didn't give us any numbers, so we're going to have to figure out what they are. And we're going to write expanded notation sentences as decimals and as fractions. First thing I'm going to look for is how many columns are filled in all the way, because those are going to represent my tenths. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 9 tenths that are filled and 9 hundredths. And altogether, that equals 99 hundredths. Here, as decimals, I want these to match, so I'm going to have 9 tenths plus 0 0.09, which is 9 hundredths, equals 99 hundredths. And I could double check that by stacking these vertically. I think nothing plus 9 is 9, 9 plus 0 is 9, line up my decimals, 0 plus 0 is 0. And these should match. Make sure that is 0 0.99 or 99 hundredths. We're going to look at one more problem like this. First thing is looking at how many of my columns are filled in all the way, because those will represent my tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 tenths plus 6 hundredths equals 66 hundredths. As decimals, I want these to match. Six tenths plus six hundredths equals sixty-six hundredths. So sixty-six hundredths here, here, and here. Same fraction, three different times. We'll take a look at a couple problems from our class examples. I'm only going to do a few from each section so you can get an idea. Uh, first thing is expanding these decimals. I have 72 hundredths, so I'm going to think of that as 70 hundredths, but instead of 70 hundredths, I'll write 7 tenths plus 2 hundredths. Same thing here. That 8 represents 80 hundredths, but instead of 80 hundredths... Mr. Hawke? Okay, sorry about that. Uh, 8 is going to represent 80 hundredths, but instead, I will do the equivalent fraction of 8 tenths plus six hundredths. I'll do a couple more real quick. This five represents fifty hundredths, or five tenths, plus four hundredths. And this two represents twenty hundredths, or two tenths. And this one is still one hundredth. Let's look ahead to doing this in just decimals. Tenths, hundredths. Six tenths plus seven hundredths. Tenths, zero and four tenths. Hundredths, zero and eight hundredths. Again, zero and fifty-nine hundredths. Tenths, hundredths, zero and nine hundredths. One more, seventeen hundredths is going to equal one tenth plus seven hundredths. We'll look at a couple more here. They've given us the model, the picture, and I'm going to figure out what the two sentences are as decimals and as fractions. Here, I'm going to count one, two, three, four full columns. So I'm going to do my fractions first. I know that's going to be four tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundredths. And I want these to match. Four tenths plus seven hundredths. So altogether, altogether, that should be 47 hundredths. 
take a look at this one. Two full columns. I know that means that I have two tens plus two hundreds, two individual squares. And I want these to match two tenths. So here I'll write zero and two tenths. This is two hundred, so I'll write zero and two hundredths. We'll do these real quick. Looking at full columns, these are representing tenths. Seven tenths, counting here. Four hundredths. I want these to match. Seven tenths. Four hundredths equals altogether seventy four hundredths. And one more. Full columns representing tenths. Six tenths. One, two, three, four, five hundredths. Making sure that these match. Six tenths. Five hundredths. Now, if you choose to do the decimals first, that's fine. That's just a choice. I choose to do the fractions first because I'm more familiar with fractions. Uh, the fractions comes a little bit easier to me, so I'll do that first. Okay, sorry, I got interrupted there. Um, again, what I was just saying is that I'm more familiar with fractions, so I tend to just do the fractions first and then use my uh, decimals, move into decimals and use the fractions. It's just the way to double check them. Right? So this is... Uh, taking a decimal fraction and then writing it as an expanded form in expanded notation uh, in fractions and decimals. Uh, use that to go over your uh, homework examples and check back for more next time.